Good day and welcome to Methodist training course on getting to know your musical symbols video number two. I am the CEO and caretaker here at Method 8, Brian West. Today's lesson is to get you to understand what those musical symbols that you see within a composition of music represent, what they stand for, so you yourself can one day become a composer of music. The first group of letters I want you to think about when you're starting to write or compose your own set of music are face. F-A-C-E or E-G-B-D-F. Every good boy drives fast. These letters will get you to understand where the notes are to be placed on a staff or stave lines when you are composing a or reading some a musical composition. So now that you know that, now we'll go to a symbol, which is the G clef, the high tone clef, or the ah uh, high tone level of vocals clef the g clef which is usually placed you'll start you'll see the curly line right where the g is at on your stave lines so you so your treble clef represents a high pitch and tone in your musical piece letting you know to play your instrument high and or to sing at a higher pitch and range the next one is the c clef which is the middle c middle alto the, lo the middle vocal range, uh, letting you know to play at a middle pitch and range, or middle C, and you'll see it within your staff lines, letting you know that your instrument is to be played at a middle pitch within a soprano, alto, tenor, or bass clef, bass clef, letting you know to play within the middle ranges. So do not go at the treble clef, which is high, uh, you're playing in the middle. Uh, so now we're going to get to the bass clef, which is the lower pitch and range. The bass clef lets you know to play at a lower tone, usually letting you know to play at a, at a bass type of vibrant. Uh, so you have high, uh, middle, uh, and you have bass. Uh. So those symbols that you may see, which are the treble, the C clef, and the bass clef, letting you know where to play your instrument or to where you should be singing in range and your musical piece or musical composition. And on those letters, you will see those are where your notes are to be placed where you, when you're singing or putting together a piece of music. You also have the neutral clefts, which are the ranges of things like a tambourine, an instrument like a tambourine that doesn't necessarily have a definite pitch but it gives off a vibrant sound. So when you're listening to a tambourine play and you see the neutral clef, you know that's when you should bring your instrument in or your tambourine in or your rattling instrument in. You also have the octave clef, letting you know when to go up an eighth or down an eighth. A note, when you see an eight on top of the treble clef, that's letting you know go higher. When you see an eight, eight, number eight on the bottom of the treble clef, clef that means letting you know you're going an eighth lower so when you're looking at your stave or staff lines you will see that going up and going down in pitches represents all uh, the measurements of music the musical tone that you're playing it so then you have the tablature which represents the string music letting you know where to place your fingers at on that guitar or violin or whatever string instrument you're playing to get the sound that you need within the musical composition. So that's it in a nutshell. Treble high, high. C clef middle, uh, F clef bass low. Uh. And those are the ranges to play your instruments when you're listening to a composition or a piece of music or you're playing the instrument yourself and you're reading sheet music and you see these musical symbols. I hope this video was useful to you and it was tough for me. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel and help me out if you want. If you want to sponsor any of our talent here at Method 8, any sponsorship over $10 gets you a free Method 8 project, project of your choice that we've done here at Method 8 uh, to kind of help our talent increase in their productivity. Now, don't forget to visit METHOD, the number 8 INC.com method any to sponsor or to view all our programs. And I want to thank you so much for tuning into our channel. And yes, 
I did cheat. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much for tuning into our channel. I am going to edit some more videos.